Office of Mission and Ministry is one of the greatest assets to Iona College. They're dedicated to keeping the mission of service, justice, and spirituality conscious in the minds and hearts of the college community. Today, ICTV got an exclusive interview with Carl Procario Foley and Steve Hill of the Office of Mission and Ministry. Uh, my name is Dr. Carl Procario Foley. I am the director of the Office of Mission and Ministry. When was the Office of Mission and Ministry founded here at Iona College? So the Office of Mission and Ministry, um, as that title, is only uh, th three and a half years old. So it's um, it's really um, it's it, it's it, it was campus ministry before, and it was combined with the Office of Mission Integration, and it became the Office of Mission Mission and Ministry. So Mission Integration primarily focused on educating employees and celebrating employees specifically related to uh, how they what they knew about the heritage of the college and and what that meant to them and um, so um, campus ministries ha always had its focus on students so we combined so we try to do this dual focus on both students and employees so we run some programs for employees thrust of our programs are primarily for students, but um, we still have some important programs for employees to learn about the mission. We do a whole year-long orientation uh, to mission. We do some stuff with the faculty, whole series to, for them to understand the heritage, you know, of the college. Well, I think it really kind of helps to bring to the forefront um, some of the core values of the institution. So. You know, we're, we're, we're not just any other college. We're a college in the tradition of the Edmund Rice Christian Brothers and the Catholic tradition. So that means something. It means that we're, we're committed to people um, kind of pursuing faith and, 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 and kind of wrestling with faith and, and trying to ask questions of faith. That we're dealing with questions of, of how do we best serve and make the world more just. Um, and we're, you know, we're dealing with um, questions about peace. How do we make? How do we become peacemakers uh, in this world of ours? So, you know, those are the kinds of things. Um, what does it mean to be um, a person of faith and a person of service uh, in the world? So, those are the those are the kinds of things that we, I think, specifically contribute to in the Office of Mission and Ministry. Uh, my name is Steve Hill, and I'm a, the coordinator of Iona in Mission which is the Service Immersion Program in Office of Mission and Ministry. Um, part of the office, you offer Iona Admissions. Could you tell us a bit more about what Iona Admission is about? Sure, so Iona Admissions is the Service Immersion Program, yeah. um, meaning we send uh, groups of anywhere from six to 12, um, led by a student leader to different communities throughout the U.S. and throughout the world to engage in service um, as a means to build relationships of solidarity, to be shaken awake by the reality of the poor, the excluded, um, to see the wounds of the world, but also to see the hopes, the dreams, and listen to the stories of people made poor all around the world and in our own backyard, um, to make, to help transform hearts and minds um, of all participants in Ion Mission um, to, to, to be change agents, to be advocates for justice. Um, and to be people of inclusion. And in the words of Pope Francis, to start a revolution of tenderness, um, where I learn that I belong to people all around the world, and they belong to me. And whatever happens to them happens to me. And that's what solidarity is at the heart. And that's the, the thrust, the vision of Iona in mission. No, we don't look for a particular kind of person. You know, we really, we really try to foster a, commu a community where people um, get involved. You know, so you have pe you have pe you have people who go on these trips because um, their f their faith propels them to it. And then you have people on these teams that would never step foot into a church door through through a church door. And that's what we want. We want people who are open to this experience to live in community, to engage in service, to to begin understanding the social realities of our world and variety of com marginalized communities. So all are, well, all are welcome. And we're very in inten inten intentional about that. So whether you're a commuter, whether you're an athlete, whether you, know, you come from a variety of co communities, religious backgrounds, no religious affiliation, you know, all are well welcome. We want you, you, you know, to bring your gifts and talents and your, and your experiences. And uh, so you know, you know, we don't look for a particular kind of per person. Sure, so this is my uh, 
be finish up my fifth year here. And uh, you know, I've been really moved by my relationships with the students, you know, who've taught me a lot about what it means to be a person and overall. Um, you know, I've, I've been particularly moved by working with people with disabilities, um, you know, um, who've shown me um, the giftedness that each of one of us has. Um, that's helped me take ownership of my own disability with my speech um, and, 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 um, and the spirituality that goes with L'Arche, which is one of our community, uh, our community partners working with people with disabilities. So for me personally, that's fed my own life. Um, you know, I think uh, I really like the, um, the story and the example of Blessed Edmund Rice, the founder of the Christian Brothers, has taught me a lot of what it means to do and to teach, which is their the, Christ, the Christian Brothers tagline. You know, um, I feel like that that fits my get my own gifts that I can bring to this role, and uh, so I think for me, you know, uh, it's been a great blessing in my life to work with um, my colleagues in mission and ministry and and particularly the students and my student leaders uh, who, uh, who keep things fresh for me.